previous episode, I made bread in a big covered pot. It's a great way to make bread at home. The covered pot creates the conditions of a French steam oven by trapping the moisture. Today, we're going to use that same dough, and we're going to make America's favorite dish, pizza, pizza at home. But the challenge is the crust. How do you get that great pizza crust? The answer is cast iron. Cast iron retains heat. Um, it's going to give us a great crust. Uh, so what I'm going to do, it's important, this is the critical step, is get it really, really hot in a hot, hot oven first. So I'm going to get my cast iron skillets into the oven. While those pans are getting really hot, I'm going to make a tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is so easy. Uh, I don't know why we need to spend so much money on jarred pizza sauce. It's perfectly simple to do. You can even do it raw if you want to. I like to cook mine. All it is is tomatoes, garlic, oregano, uh, some onion, olive oil, that's it. Very easy to do, takes very little time to put together, and very easy to cook. I'll get my heat up, get my onions and garlic in there, sweating. This draws the flavor out, gives you a nice depth of flavor. I always salt my vegetables as soon as they go into the pan. It starts extracting liquids from them, uh, gets the seasoning process going. Okay, so I hear them cooking. Okay, now I've got my canned tomatoes. I'm gonna pour the juice in. And then I'm going to buzz the tomatoes in the can. Into the pan it goes. I'm gonna add a little oregano and another pinch of salt. Give it a stir, bring it up to a simmer, and then I'm gonna leave it alone for 45 minutes to an hour on low, and it's done. So I have some of our bread dough uh, resting here. I've patted it out. Uh, one of those recipes will make three pizzas. Uh, it freezes great if you want to freeze it and make some ahead. And we're just going to stretch it out until it's about the size of the pan. It's about the right size. Okay, I'm going to go get my pans. Okay, so my cast iron pot is screaming hot here. Leave a towel on the handle so no one burns themselves. This goes straight into the pan. We're going to make a margarita pizza. It's going to be tomato, fresh buffalo mozzarella. We're going to finish it with basil. You wouldn't want to put the basil on. Uh, before you put it in the oven because you don't want to fry your basil. The basil will heat through and be very aromatic when you just put it on at the end. You can make many pizzas. It's great to do with lots of people. Uh, these cook very quickly. They cook in 15 minutes, so you can have several rounds of pizza going. Important step that I like to do. You don't have to do it, but in order to have a really nice golden brown crust along the edges, we oil the sides of the pizza, flavors it, and it gives it a nice golden brown color. And we're done. Pizza number one. Into the oven. Okay, I've got my second pot pan screaming hot. Got my dough just about stretched right. Stretch it a little more. Make our second pizza. I've got some tomato sauce. I'm going to use some uh, grated mozzarella here. So I've got my cheese on. And now, don't buy those packets of pepperoni. They're, they're, they're no good. Find good salami. It's widely available now, and it makes killer pizza. There's a reason for pepperoni pizza, and this is it. It's using really good slices of really good salami. We cut it thick. We could also cut it really thinly and put it on this pizza once it comes out of the oven. So now I'm going to paint the edges with the oil. and into the oven it will go. 15 minutes. The secret to stocking a great kitchen is not to fill your kitchen up with stuff. It's to find a few great ingredients, high quality ingredients that you use well. Fresh spices, not the stuff in the spice rack that you got for your wedding 10 years ago. Um, a, an excellent olive oil, some very good salt. That's really all you need. All right, the margarita is cooked. Basil, critical. You can just tear it if you want. 
I like the chiffonade. You can just roll your basil leaves into a little bundle and slice as thinly as you can. It's cool. See, I love all these little ribbons of basil. And it looks beautiful on the pizza. And of course, it flavors it with that lovely basil flavor. And here is my salami pizza. Let's see how little sticking it is. And there it is, the cast iron skillet. It's the best way to make pizza at home. It's fabulous. You are not gonna believe what Le Creuset is up to. It's called Pass It On Potluck. It could be coming to you. It's a crazy idea. All they want you to do is they want you to cook from it. They want you to, to cook a meal with family and friends, take pictures, share your story. When you've shared your story, they print out a label, you pop it on the box, and off it goes to the next doorstep. I love it. Go to lecrosay.com slash potluck. This could be coming to your doorstep.